Oh, I need to get better at not doing that. Hey guys, happy Halloween, and I'm back from my hibernation to give you guys a new video. While the updates are coming in a bit slow, I thought we'd make a video talking about if Ukraine could reinvade Crimea. We'll go over the logistics, the tactics, and many other challenges Ukraine would face while trying to pull this off. Alright, first we need to set up a world where this is possible. Russia currently controls the areas in the Kherson and Zaporizhia oblasts needed to begin this invasion. Alright, so let's say the Donbass goes into a stalemate, and Ukraine decides to do a spearhead attack towards Melita. Pole. It doesn't matter if this is realistic or not, so they go through here and they and they like do this or something, and then they get it something like this, and yeah. This doesn't need to be realistic, I'm just trying to explore a scenario. And then they begin to drive a wedge between the west and the east bank of the Sona Blast, and Russia decides it's just a good idea to retreat back to the borders. Alright, again, I know that probably won't happen, but I don't care. So let's send the borders back to the 2014 border. The main problems with this invasion would be the lack of land crossing and the insecurity of supplied roads. There's only one main land connection, and that's the Armyansk area. There is a bridge near Vasilivka, however, I think Russia would probably blow it up. Now, there is a bridge by Paradmysne, which Google Docs corrected to Prednisone, and it's only a tenth of a kilometer long, so it would be a lot harder to hit. Now, I know all this talk about blowing bridges up is making you wonder why I haven't mentioned something yet, but trust me, we'll get to this. Ukraine's first plan of attack would be to gain a foothold in Armyansk and Krasnoperokovsk. This city would be a good stepping stone to expand further out. Now the geography is definitely leveraged against Ukraine, but the news does get a bit better as we get further into the invasion. The north is very flat till about halfway down, and they can definitely use that to their advantage. The major cities in Crimea are Yevpatoria, Semerfopol, Sevastopol, Kerch, and most importantly for Ukraine's plan, Zhankoy. I'm just gonna say that uncertainly. Without breaking the Kerch Bridge, Ukraine's best strategy is to follow the E97 highway down to Zhankoy, and then isolate the bug city- uh, Okay, of course I wrote that wrong in my script. And isolate the big cities by cutting them off from the supply from Russia. They don't even need to attack Sevastopol, all they need to do is isolate it and starve it out. Alright, now I feel like I've gone way too long without talking about the Kerch Bridge. This is Russia's only main supply route to Crimea, and considering that Ukraine has struck it in the past, I have no doubt they can do it again. Even with this counterattack I talked about, the bridge would still not be within HIMARS range, which is limited to 90 kilometers. And that looks ugly, what? Okay, that's a little better. They would need to take over the city of Berahove in order to even, like, get it within the radius of the blast. Clearly the solution is to put a HIMARS system on a civilian boat and shoot it from there. I'm sure Ukraine can find a way to do it. No one knows about how they did it the first time, but the West could give them ATA CMs in the future. Now, in order to make it inoperable, Ukraine is going to need to floor that bridge. Like, I'm talking straight B-29 Michael Jordan three-point gang blast that bitch back to the first dimension. Well, probably not that hard, but you get what I mean. Now, there is a lot of military equipment already in Crimea, so I doubt they'd run out pretty fast. I'm pretty sure Sevastopol and other cities in the regions could supply the troops, but the combat ability would be diminished every time Ukraine attacked, and it wouldn't be able to be replenished. So as long as Ukraine's supply routes are stable, they will win the fight, and it will just be a matter of time. If Ukraine is able to overcome the initial challenges of the invasion, the rest will go very smooth, so take that as a life lesson or something. Thank you to my channel members, Gene Helfrich, Stig Grun, tell me if I'm saying that wrong, Butler-esque, tell me if I'm saying that wrong, David Epel, tell me if I'm saying that wrong, Delo Mathatas, tell me if I'm saying that wrong, Evan Shin, and a special thanks to my third tier, Ashley C137. See you guys next video.